uh, land use. Welcome to the Jan uh, the September 29th uh, East Richmond Heights MAC land use subcommittee meeting. Uh, we have one item on our agenda. First, I'll take the um, attendance. Uh, there are two of us on the subcommittee committee, myself present, Joanne Pavlinek, and Jin Wei is also present. Uh, with the um, so uh, I'll, I'll list what this is. This is uh, an applicant is requesting approval of a small lot design review development plan uh, for approximately 192 square foot addition to the front and approximately 790 square foot addition to the rear of an existing single family residence for a total of 982 square feet. The project includes a variance to allow a front yard setback of eight feet and six inches where 20 feet is required for the required off street parking uh, space. So um, that is the application. Is, 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 do you agree with that, um, Mr. Degala? Is uh, that yeah. correct? Okay. Yep. And uh, actually we reviewed this about a year and a couple months ago, and uh, it has significantly changed since our first review. As a matter of fact, I, I thought when I first looked at this, I had no idea it was the project we reviewed a year and a couple of months ago. And I thought, wow, we're getting all these projects from WJE, what's going on? It's a huge firm. Why yeah. are we getting all in, in our little tiny neighborhood? We have two WGE projects. Anyway, I realized later and looking more carefully that we had already reviewed this project and that it had significantly changed uh, since the original proposal. And Jin Wei was at that meeting and I think we made several recommendations uh, at that time. So that's the background to date. So uh, from our perspective, uh, and with a new uh, submittal, and uh, we have several other people I see at this meeting. Would you just like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm uh, Jean Grossman, I'm the neighbor, and this project would affect me directly. I'm right next door to this. Are you north or south of the proposed project? Closer to Arlington or further from Arlington from the project? Fur further from Arlington. Okay. Well, on the other side of the house. Okay. And uh, um, would you like to introduce yourself, uh, Jeff? Uh, I'm uh, Jeff Dalgala. Um, I, uh, I live at the address where the project is proposed. Um, uh, you know, we're a family of three. We uh, live in a one bedroom house, so we're uh, you know, looking to expand um our our house for uh you know uh growth <laughs> okay and um so would you uh like to uh present the project to uh the land use subcommittee and the members here today do you have the drawings uh that you can share with us on your screen uh, yeah. can i just interrupt for one minute sure do you have a question uh, my lawyer was supposed to be here uh Mr. Diefenbach, is there anybody you're not letting in to the meeting or? No. Because. So everyone is here, there's no one in the waiting room. Well, why don't, since you're a lawyer and you are probably familiar with the project, why don't we let uh, Mr. Degala present and then hopefully your attorney will show up in the meantime, if that's appropriate. Um, okay, why don't you go ahead and present, Jeff? Uh, I says disabled participants sh uh, screen sharing. Oh, let me do that now, sorry. Yep. You should have access now. Okay. Can you see the drawing? Uh, I, I did a minute ago, now you're on oh, another. Okay. Wrong screen, all right, here we go. All right, sorry about that. Okay, um, so this is the site plan for, um, for my property. Um, this is the existing house. Um, we are proposing to do a one-story addition in the front here, and then a uh, one-story addition in the rear of the property. Um, 
Maybe you want to point out on that plan where the setbacks are on the, on the front yard, since, since that needs, seems to be the, one of the uh, questions. Sure. So, um, so there's a 20 foot setback, which is this dashed line right here. So the addition, proposed additions within the front setback, the off street parking space requirement um, would be in this area here, which would be within the uh, front setback. Uh, you require to have one or two parking spaces, one? Uh, one parking space because the lot was created prior to um, whatever date that was set in the ordinance code like 1972 i think or something around there okay um should i go to the elevation sheet yeah maybe that's a good place to go all right uh so uh this is the front elevation of of the uh, addition um um so it's a uh, like I said, it's a one-story addition. The uh, addition um, it will be uh, this, this similar height as the uh, existing house. Um, the, um, uh, the design for this was um, inspired by the, the, the shed that we have in the back, which has a monoslope roof. It has that kind of modern, um, look to it but it also blends yeah. well with the craftsman style um, of the existing house um, this is the uh, south elevation and this is the north elevation so this is the elevation that is adjacent to uh gene's property is that correct that is correct thank you um, um, we don't need to go into detail sheets. I don't think so. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> um, uh, is there anything else you'd like to go through? No, did, uh, does anyone have any questions? Uh, Jin Wei, do you have any questions about the presentation of the proposal? Uh, can we take a look at the existing elevation if we have any uh, photos? Um, uh, I have photographs I can share. Yeah, sure. Uh, if I can just let me see, because I went and took some pictures today. Let me see if what I have. Uh, da, da, da. So if I hold my phone up to the screen, um, I'm not very tech oriented, but if I hold my phone up to the screen, hopefully you can see. Let me see what I've got here. So um, it's not very big. Can you can you um, can you see that? Or is there a way uh, I can yeah yeah that? I can see that. Yeah, do we have the north elevation, like the one? That, uh, have sort a of, I tried to. I also tried to take some pictures of the current okay. north elevation. Let's see what I've got there. Uh, so this, this, these are the two. This is kind of the space between the two houses. Okay. Uh, this being the Jean's house, and this being um, Jeff's house. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that right? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, so there's yeah. a fence in between, right? The eight foot tall fence, right? I'm not sure it, how tall the fence is. Yeah, but, but uh, I see there's a fence in between, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Fence, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's the fence, and it steps up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, are there any other questions? I, I just have one question. That's I, I'm just it's a curious it's a cu real curiosity James question. Has a question. Oh, Jinwei. Okay, you have another question, Jinwei. Uh, no, Jin, oh, no, no. Jin, I finished my. Oh, question. Jean, your um your speaker is on. Your you're, speaker. You're muted, Jean. Yeah. See, I can ask you to unmute, but I can't unmute for you. There. This oh, you, this you is yourself again. James Diefenbach, and I'm an attorney, and I, I represent Miss Grossman. Um, it, it, we were asking for questions. Was this the opportunity for us to comment? Uh, I apologize for being a little late. No, we're, I was still on questions. Yeah. Okay, sorry, no, no question. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I, I'm just curious why you didn't add in the cathedral spaces uh, with the north facing, why you didn't add any windows at a taller, uh, up higher? 
for North Light to enter that space? Just a design curiosity uh, question. I have the one window here. Are you asking about up here? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you're looking at. Um, so this is the North Elevation. Right, so there's two cathedral spaces. So I was in this windows appear, appear to be at normal room heights and you've got all that space up above to well, let so, in. So up here is um, an attic space. Um, there is a cathedral ceiling in, in this room and in this room. Um, so we have a window here. Um, we don't have one here. Um, we could. I just get that you have so much opportunity for light and as north light is really neutral. Anyway, yeah. it's just, just a curiosity design question. I think it's because so when we were living at another place, we had a window up high. And what we didn't like about that was because this is the bedroom and we didn't like how you know the sun would rise at like, you know, six in the morning and wake us <laughs> up. Okay. okay. <laughs> Um, so we ended up putting a curtain up there and because it was so high, we couldn't open it. We anything. never open. Okay. <laughs> Plus if they get dirty, you can't clean them. So I understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, moving on, if there's no other questions from the subcommittee, uh, I would like to hear any speakers who wanted to address uh, or comment on the project. Not on the, not from the uh, subcommittee, but uh, our visitors. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, my name is James Diefenbach. I represent Ms. Jean Grossman. Um, we've expressed some of our concerns in the past about the project, primarily related to the uh, offset variance that's being requested that we think is inconsistent with the you know, neighborhood intent. And, and again, are concerned about kind of overbuilding on these properties. Um, you know, as it's currently constructed for the way the street goes, the carport will significantly impede uh, Ms. Grossman's view and, and because it is in violation of the 20-foot variant. So we just wanted to raise that concern as well as that uh, we believe the construction's already commenced despite not being fully permitted is, is my understanding. And I, I think Ms. Grossman's raised that issue with the uh, building department and hasn't received a response yet. So those are the primary two points okay. that we wanted to raise to the committee's concern. Is there, a, I didn't notice a car, a, a proposed carport. There, there is no carport. So it's did, open. Did I, okay, did I misspeak that? I guess I, I, I know there's, wherever they're requesting the variance from 20 feet to eight feet, I guess I thought it was a carport, but um, either if way. It's a driveway. I, I understand, yeah. from my understanding, it's a driveway. If you can, is that, is that correct? It's a driveway? It's a driveway. Open. Okay. No, I, I see that there's a building there. He's going to build a building in front. They already have a driveway. The building, uh, if you look at the, if, you, if we want to bring the drawings up again, the building is set back 20 feet from the front yard. So, so it appears from the drawings that um, the 20 foot required front yard setback has been met. They want to add another building to the front of that. Yeah. Yes. So the building was is within the setback limit. So the um, what the, the variance is for is the off street parking space, which is not a building. So the front that they're proposing meets the zoning requirements without requesting a variance, is my understanding. Okay, and then I guess are, are they going to have adequate parking for this um, with the, the added bedrooms? Yes, we just went over that. Um, the, the county requires one parking space for uh, this lot because of the date that the ordinance and this was date of the ordinance and the building of this home. Excuse Only one space. Me, but I'm looking at the, <clears throat> the drawing right there and it shows a one story addition in the front of the current building. Jeff, do you have a pointer where you can point out where the 20 foot setback is? The 20 foot setback line is this dashed line here. That is 20 feet from the front property line and we are not building, um, the house does not extend into that front yard area. So they're building behind the required setback. They meet, mm -hmm. the, they meet the zoning standard for that. 
Well, yeah, we would still oppose to the be opposed to the granting the variance for the driveway just because of, of the impact. Um, we would like that to be noted. The way the way I see it, this building is going to totally impede my view. Okay. Do you happen? I, I have a question. Do you I lower to, my property values? Do you happen to know where the uh, front yard, uh, where the does this um, where it hits the front windows of the home, Jeff? Um, I believe her front corner window is about here. Okay. But it's not. It's back further. Okay. So this uh, addition that you have shown here, that is not a parking place, that is a building. Right. This but, yeah. one story addition here is within the front setback of the property. It's not included in the variance. It doesn't need a variance. That's how I understand it also. So the variance is for the open driveway, uh, which is I think 26 feet, three inches long. Yep. So we're required to have an off-street parking space of nine feet by 19 feet. Okay. Well, you know, I just I, want to I, say they already have a driveway. Right. So um I, I just want to, I looked up Contra Costa's, you know, in, in order to grant a variance, there are three requirements. And uh, the one is that because of special circumstances applicable to the subject property, because of its size, shape, topography, location, or surroundings, the strict application of the respective zoning regulations is found to deprive the subject property of rights enjoyed by other properties in the vicinity and within the I identical land use district. So um, this is a small lot. It's lower, it's, um, the square footage is lower than most lots in East Richmond Heights. I think the square footage of this lot is 3,000. Yeah. And I think, I know my lot is 5,000. So uh, I think most lots are 5,000 to 6,000 in this area. So it does meet that requirement. And it seems like the variance is asking is around the uh, open parking lot driveway. So it's it's not impeding the, the that variance would not impede any views because there's nothing there. Um, so um, the other requirements for a variance, the three of them, that any variance authorized shall not constitute a grant of special privilege, inconsistent with the limitation on other properties in the vicinity and the respective land use district in which the property is located, and that any variance authorized substantially meet the intent and purpose of the respective land use district in which the subject property is located. Uh, failure to do so uh, to find shall result in a denial. So I just wanted to outline, that's from section 26-2-2006. This is from guess. Contra Costa County. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, we would just point out that, you know, but for the addition, you know, they, they would not need the variance. So the addition, while it's not uh, violating the offset, it's forcing them to be non-compliant in this other issue. So, you know, it's not just about the, the uncovered driveway, it's about the, the impact of the addition that's now causing them to be in violation and require this variance. So, you know, on those grounds, we would, we would uh, argue that it does not meet the requirements. Um, you know, the discretion in it and that the board should use their discretion to deny this uh, application. Okay, so, I, so I'll have to disagree with that. Um, the I've never had an automobile in the backyard in my backyard because I can't fit one back there because it's too narrow between the house and the fence. Um, so change there won't be any significant change of uh, use of the property. Um, the other thing is uh, variants have been granted to other properties in the in the neighborhood um, for this exact thing for garage conversions and um, other miscellaneous type uh, um, variants. So um, it's it's not 
uncommon due to the um, uh, the narrow lots that we have in the neighborhood because this ordinance requirement was was made in the 50s, which was after um, you know the time when most of these lots uh, were drawn. They were drawn in the, the 30s and 40s. Um, so when the ordinance requirement came about for this off street parking requirement outside the setback. Well, that came at the same time when they were requiring 6,000 square foot lots. So they had a clause within that ordinance that said they are, you know, still permitting people to build on these lots because they can just get a variance. And based on the history of all the houses that have been built in the neighborhood since the 50s, many of them have been granted variances. Okay. Are there any other uh, comments or questions from the public or the applicant? I just okay. want to say that that building in the front of their existing building is going to block my view entirely and degrade my property value. Okay, thank you. Okay, if, if there is no other uh, com comments or um, from the public, I'd like to close the public portion of this or the applicant and bring it back to the subcommittee. So uh, Jin Wei, do you have co comments you'd like to make or questions at, at, based on the testimony? Um, I don't, I don't. I, uh, I think I understand the, uh, the whole situation of the variance and the, the existing and the, the proposed uh, uh, proposed uh, plan of the project. I don't have any questions. Any comments uh, as we try to wrap this up or make a recommendation? Uh, I don't have any comments. Okay, well, I'll make my comments then. Um, I, uh, I remember, vaguely remember your last submittal. And I, I, as I said, I thought this was a, I didn't think this was the same property when this I looked at the design and uh, I don't know if you remember it, Jen Wei, it was a two story. We were yes. asking him to take the stairs off the top yes. and all of that. We, we yes. asked, we had a lot of comments on it. What, what I see now is, is I'm really impressed with the changes you've made, making, taking it from a two story to a one story. I mean, I was concerned that it really didn't fit in the neighborhood with a two story and with the character of the design but you brought it down to a one story, which is more in keeping with the context of the neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. you've, I think you've changed materials to uh, cementitious lapboard and also in the front wood siding. I, like the de I really like the detail in the front of the change of the scale of the siding. And I really hope you don't lose that. So many things get lost being built. So I really hope you, because it's the front facade, it's the most important facade. And, it's a, a nice little detail that gives some interest to it. Uh, your building footprint, actually, if you look at page one of your drawings, your building footprint is the same footprint of many buildings in, on these narrow lots adjacent to you. It's the exact same footprint, a piece in the back with a, a setback for the entry and a little front piece sticking out. That's what all of the homes in, you know, in your two adjacent lots are. It's a, the exact same footprint for this neighborhood. And um, I like that uh, where you added the additions, you stepped it back from the north uh, facade to give a little bit more breathing space uh, between your house and uh, Jean's house. It's You could have put it in alignment, but you didn't do that. You stepped it back. Um, uh, and you brought in, I know you wanted to do some contemporary uh, character and you brought in the contemporary character with the roof slope. I think that looked, that really fit. And I think all of those things really fit in with the neighborhood, uh, design materials, um, massing, footprint. Uh, and I think the variance you're asking for is um, uh, for the, uh, it's already there, it's, it's, it exists already. Um, so uh, because it's an open driveway without any kind of uh, structure over it, I don't see how that variance could uh, impede any of the, um, any, anything to um, uh, your proposal. 
And uh, it is a very small lot and it's a tough lot to fit um, square footage on. And um, I don't know why you switched from two story to one story, it may have been cost, but um, I just think it's a much better design and fits into the neighborhood better. And it fits in really good with your two uh, adjacent properties. And uh, reading the, I, I've worked with variances for many years and I reading this variance requirements, I think you meet the three requirements to grant a variance. So uh, I, I support the changes and I would recommend approval. I don't, based on everything I've said. Um, so on top of that, uh, I would like to add, I think this version is <clears throat> so much better than the last version we saw. And uh, I think uh, this uh, changes uh, put in a lot of thoughts. And uh, I totally agree with uh, what, uh, um, uh, what uh, Joe, Joe and comment on. And uh, um, I think uh, the variance, I, I think the, 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 uh, the projects and the, the zoning requirement, the variance uh, is uh, uh, for the parking spot should be, yeah, uh, should be granted uh, based on um, the scale of the lot and uh, the scale of the project. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I assume that that's, um, we agree that we're, rec we're, we're recommending approval and that the variance be granted based on the scale of the, of the lot the size of the lot. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I think those uh, recommending, uh, I, I don't know, is there any other thing we wanna say? We have to report to the planner. And um, I guess um, we could mention that we think the project is, I think you agree, Jinwei, the project has been made really substantial improvement over the last one in neighborhood, yes. con in neighborhood context. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, since that uh, project dropped from a two story to one story, in my opinion, probably have a way less impact uh, to the neighbor um, on the north side. Um, um, and uh, also the three foot setback, uh, um, I think that's uh, being um, respectful for to the neighbor as well. And uh, regarding the front, uh, uh, extension and uh, because that is the inside the no that is outside of the 20 foot setback so that is not part of the variance I think that uh, is uh, and uh, is allowed under the, the zoning requirement okay okay so um I will offer to send uh, an email to the planner on this and mm -hmm. uh, to um, to the applicant. And uh, if, if I have all your emails, I will send it to all of you. Um, so, um, so I have, uh, we recommend approval of the variance due to the size of the lot, uh, that there's a substantial improvement over the last proposal because it was two stories to one stories and it's better neighborhood context mm -hmm. in terms of materials mm -hmm. and scale that there's mm -hmm. less impact to the neighbor to the north because it's been reduced from two stories to one stories from the last one and um Hello. and excuse me you're out just a minute and that um the we recognize that the front addition does not impact the 20 foot required setback. Is, is that uh, summarize it, uh, Jinwei, do you think? Yes, yes, okay. I think that is summarize it. Okay, thank you. Um, so um, I think we heard everyone uh, and we heard your concerns and uh, you heard our um, recommendation to the planner on this project. So, uh, Edgar, is there anything else? Uh, no, that, that is it. We had our public comment segment. 
um, and uh, you provide your recommendations. So next will be to adjourn the meeting. Okay, so uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your changes. I think we really appreciate those and we're uh, excited about the changes. And so uh, thank you. And we will send this recommendation to the planner and uh, move on. So I, I, I motion that we adjourn the meeting. Um, I think the public, I, I think the public uh, comment period has closed. And I think we've met, we've made our recommendation. So I think I'm going to just uh, adjourn the meeting and I know you'll have other opportunities to address uh, zoning staff on this project at the, uh, pub, at the uh, county public hearing. We were a small part of, um, just to let you know, we're a small part of the recommendation. Uh, so you'll have other opportunities, okay? So uh, I, mo I motion to adjourn the meeting. Is there a second? Uh, I second that. Okay, so meeting adjourned, thank you.